Hello everyone, this is Matthew Kent. Welcome to Theology on the Ground and to the Daily Thought from my quiet time. Today, John chapter 12 is an interesting one today. I'm going to have a cross-reference and look at a passage from the Old Testament that's highly significant. So this is John chapter 12, starting verse 37. Though he had done so many signs before them, we've talked about that, they still did not believe him so that the words spoken by the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Lord, who has believed what he heard from us, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? And so that's from Isaiah 53. It's not the passage we're going to look at. Therefore, they could not believe. For again, Isaiah said, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, lest they see with their eyes and understand with their heart and turn, and I would heal them. Now verse 41, Isaiah said these things because he saw his glory and spoke of him. Saw whose glory and spoke of him? Well, the context that we just read makes it clear that we're talking about Jesus. People had seen the signs Jesus performed and didn't believe in Jesus. And then John quotes these two passages from Isaiah, and John says, Isaiah said these things, these two passages, because he saw his, Jesus' glory, and spoke of them. Now, the assertion, first of all, that John, uh, that Isaiah, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, excuse me, Isaiah saw the glory of Jesus itself is a, a staggering, staggering claim. But even more staggering when you consider um, that second passage that John cites is from Isaiah 6.10. Isaiah 6.10 is in the immediate context of this verse here, Isaiah 6.1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Sitting upon a throne, high lifted up, the train of his robe filled the temple. It's Isaiah 6.1. Very famous verse. Isaiah saw the Lord. He saw God. He saw Yahweh. And... In that encounter, he wrote Isaiah 6.10, or of that encounter, he wrote Isaiah 6.10, which is a verse that John quotes. And John says, Isaiah wrote that because Isaiah saw Jesus' glory. In other words, what is John saying? That in Isaiah's grand vision of the throne room of God, where he sees the Lord God, Yahweh, sitting on a throne, that he was seeing Jesus' glory and speaking of Jesus. Does the New Testament clearly teach that Jesus is God? I, unequivocally. Unequivocally. There is no way John could write what he just wrote and for it to not be blasphemy unless Jesus is God. Those are my thoughts for today. Hopefully they bless you. Lord willing, I will see you guys again tomorrow.